Whoa, okay, that's framed entirely wrong. Oh, and then change this up a little bit. Something like that. I'm pretty sure I had it. Hold on, I had it so that you guys could see the dialogue easier. Hold on. There's some dialogue. There we go. There we go. That's a good spot for it. Okay. Tonight I am flying solo. Andrew is uh, indisposed for whatever reason. Doesn't really matter. I trust he has a good reason. And even if he doesn't, there's no real good reason needed to skip this. It's just a stream. Ah, I'm mostly doing this to stress test how well doing Nintendo 64 is going to work. Because starting on Monday, or maybe Sunday, depending on how things work out, um, we're going to, or at least I'm going to be playing through the first three Paper Marios leading up to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door in, um, in, or not, that's one of the ones we'll be playing, Paper Mario Origami King, that's the new one, oh, it's partial to the pink Yoshi, so let's start with that one. So this is basically if, uh, if Yoshi's story... Or rather, if uh, Yoshi's Island is just, like, a lot looser with its rules and just not that good, to be quite frank. Let me know, um, let me know how the audio is, anybody watching, because, uh, I got, I got no monitor on this one with how this emulator works. So I need, uh, need whatever feedback I can get. Uh, let's see, and then I think, yeah, ah, ah, the left, that's right, because the right stick would have been the C buttons originally, um, okay. And I'm skipping the hint things for now, because, ugh, I forgot about these baby mans. Miss Warp, excuse me, baby ladies. Um, right, and then his whole deal was... Yeah, you gotta do that, and then you run run around before he gets back up. And then this is just hoppity hop. Up to the top. Alright. Oh, cool. So, yeah, the goal here is just to get the... There, are, As you can see, there are spots for all of the fruit around the screen, little dots. And once you fill that up with fruit, level ends, and you get a score. Um... Doesn't really matter at what point in the level you're at, which is, yeah, not great level design. Because it's designed like a, a paper book side scroller. I mean, look, it's all cardboard and stuff. But, unfortunately, it's uh, not really open like that. Or it kind of is. It's very confusing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, is this the melon crate thing? Or is this just a race? Oh, shit. I haven't, I've not played this game in forever. I'm pretty sure this is just a race. Alright, let's go. Let's go see how this works. Whoa. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Whoa. Then I think if I do that, yep, you can just jump over. Nice. Got all set. Perfect. Not doing too bad. It says that the encoding is overloaded. Although that doesn't always matter that much. 
you guys can let me know if there is something wrong with the video. If there's anything wrong with the video or audio that you can tell, let me know, because I certainly would like to, to know. I'd like to fix it so that everybody has the best viewing experience they can. For the time being, I'm just going to run back for these fruits. And whoop. And then once we have all the fruits, whoop, some apples. Boy, switching between these two levels, these two different paths is uh, incredibly awkward. And I'm not sure if it's because of the way it's being emulated or if that was just how the game always was, but you know what? Either makes sense to me. I apologize if I, uh, if I have any extra mouth noise or anything. I was drinking a shandy earlier with, um, it was a Modelo and, like, homemade lemonade shandy. So, I have a lot of sugar in my mouth. Gotta stay hydrated. That's what's important here. You gotta stay hydrated. You gotta make sure you get plenty of water. Water in your system. Alright. Right, that was the thing here, is that you only have to play, like, six levels out of the entire game. Yeah, there's, like, four, there's, like, two to five in each page, and then, depending on which ones you pick, you get different options. It's all the same story. I've beaten it a few times, like, even as a kid, I beat it. It's, it's very short. There are, like, multiple paths, I guess, but I don't end up doing those most times. I never really figured out how to do that, but maybe tonight we'll figure it out. Because that only took me like five minutes. Ten minutes? Not very long. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Story here is they got a super happy tree, and then the super happy tree. Ain't us so happy for them. Oh yeah, I think depending on how you do in the first levels, it unlocks other stuff. And these also, all these Yoshis in this opening bit are basically lives. If you die, you have to pick a different Yoshi. You can't just keep doing the, the same one if you die. Man. Again, I don't know if it's uh, this particular copy, but... The way that this is, like, digitized and pixelated looks pretty ugly. Oh, gotta watch out. Oh, it's fire. You gotta, you gotta bop him. Whoop. I guess more than once. Get out of here. There we go. And turn into coins. Nice. Oh, get the warp. Although, at this point, I'm pretty sure up until, like, the fourth page, uh, the levels aren't even really big enough to require the warps. Ah, sh- sh- well, there goes that boy. No, my Yoshi. My Yoshi! Yeah, return to the same course. Ah, let's go. Ooh, I like the light blue. Let's give that guy a shot. Oh, the mist warp is like a... Like a checkpoint, too. Okay, I guess I should get those then. I figured it was just a thing. And I apologize if you hear any, any, uh, anything in the background. People are lighting off fireworks already, despite it being the third. So it's kind of frustrating, but you know what? Could be worse. Probably tomorrow will be a lot worse. Hoping to uh, get as much, much, uh, done streaming tomorrow before all the Fourth of July. Not necessarily a very big fan of the 4th of July myself. It mostly ends up just being loud. And honestly, living down here, it's like there's so many bugs that I wouldn't want to go out and do anything. And I can guarantee people are going to be real dumb and catch a bunch of COVID. They can't, they can't help themselves. They cannot help themselves. But... Do some dumb nonsense. Mm. 
to listen. We all do stupid stuff sometimes, but at a certain point, you gotta, you gotta look in yourself and be like, is this the person I want to be? Do I want to be a dummy? What's the answer for you? I don't know my answer, but I don't need to answer to you. Hmm. I'm sad that I don't get to hear the audio on this. It's also going to be frustrating for uh, Paper Mario. I'm going to see if they've updated it so that it can get past that now. Because I love the music of that game, and I would really like to be able to enjoy it with all of you. Especially because I'm not sure how well... Whoa! Uh, whoa. Froze for a second there. Let me know how it's going in the, the chat. Specifically the technical side, because I can't hear it. And also, uh, things might be different when they get to the stream side. So... Any info you can divulge would be greatly appreciated, viewer. Single viewer. Ah, shit! Wow. I forgot how uh, quick the jump in difficulty is. I mean, the first one was like a tutorial level, so... You know. Not gonna be hard. Let's go... Let's go classic Yoshi. Classic green guy. Here we go. Whoop. Is the bone man back? Nope. Okay. Gotta deal with Lecky too. Before he becomes too much of a problem. Whoop. Oh, I guess not. Come on. There's no secret on this one? Okay. Fine. Have it that way. Oh, yeah! These little guys! Little jumpy acorn mans. Look these guys. Remember they made, like, a really... Kind of, like, intimidating, uh... Metallic sound? I think? I might be thinking of something else. I do really... I have, like, a ton of nostalgia for this game. I played it all the time as a kid. In fact, a lot more than I played Yoshi's Island, because I never ended up, um... Getting Yoshi's Island. I didn't have an SNES. I pretty much only had an N64. Uh, my brothers had a GameCube, and then I had a PS2. But like, that was pretty much it for my my console history. Every other console has been borrowed up until the Switch. The Switch is like the the hybrid console, so it's not not exactly the same thing. It's more like a beefier handheld. Which is exactly what I want. Oh, I'm at eggs. Oh, maybe there's something over here. Oh, an egg dispenser. That's useful. Alright. Let's come back and crack through these blasted rocks. Keeps telling me my encoding is overloaded. I hope that is not affecting anything on the stream end. I won't really know until after, but as I said, this is mostly stress testing the whole system to make sure that it can handle this. I think it's mostly an object limit thing. Because when I see it give me the message of like encoding overloaded, it's uh, usually with a lot of different stuff going on. And it doesn't give me that with modern games? I guess, I don't know. Nintendo 64 games for emulation have always been pretty weird. Um, and just never really that consistent, so I'm not shocked that this one is giving me giving me trouble when it comes to all this. A little choppy. It's always going to be a, a little bit choppy as far as the captures and everything go because I don't have too powerful enough of a computer with a nice game capture card and all that. I need I need to get a desktop. If just because a desktop, if I can get a desktop with the same specs and then a nice graphics card, then then we'll be in business here. Oh, cloud cruising! I remember this one. This is where it gets complicated. Everything turns into a freaking maze. Like it starts out 
like this, but then we got these guys. Ooh, they got a much creepier face than I remember. So their thing is that every time you jump on them, they go, they reverse direction. So you can use that to your advantage. To get where you need to go. Whoop. There's those guys. Oh, crap. Oh. Whoop. Okay, we're up. Let me get this banana. Getting fruits of. Whoop. Ah, shit. Let me try this. Let me try this again. Let me try this a little harder. I think I can do it. What happens if I just write Is there like a secret? Nope, nope, that's just the top. Also, I just realized that the background is jeans. This is cute. You can see where they started to get the ideas for like Crafted World and Woolly World and all the other Yoshi games that they've made more recently. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, uh, no! Ah. Uh, well, there goes my ride. That one, so the green ones take you go move up and down when you jump. And then the pink ones move left to right when you jump. And they, they go way more vertical. Because this is a very vertical stage, if I remember correctly. In fact, this might be a stage with a boss in it, I think. Yeah? Pretty sure it's this one. It's hard to say, because, like, on one hand, it felt like it was so much longer away, but also, as a kid, everything, this game felt a lot longer in general. This is, I'm realizing, I'm already basically halfway through the game once I beat this stage, so. Um, oh, there goes the green one. Fare thee well, friends. I, I, I thank ye for your, your transportation. No, no, no. Uh. Now, do they come back? Do they come back? Yeah, yeah, this is the point where things get real silly. Ooh, boy. Okay, I think I gotta jump down. Oh, uh, can I get more coins? Yep. They respawn, but I don't think they respawn if you're there, maybe? Like, I think you have to go off screen. I gotta say, the little animation that they do for this is pretty dumb. And in fact, a lot of this looks pretty amateur, to the point that Yoshi himself looks like he doesn't even really belong in this game. I can't, I can't really describe it. I hope, I hope you guys understand what I mean by that. Melon, no, oh, melon, banana. <laughs> Flutter jump. Ooh. Okay. Ah, perfect. Warp. All right, and this. I believe there's some. Whoa. It's a little bit slip slidey here. It's a little bit slip slidey. But that's just how things go sometimes. Hey. Yep. Got it. Nice. Okay, there was a little thing over there, so now I'm just gonna run back over here and get. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't want to eat that one. The peppers do not count towards your count, and they are spicy. They're so spicy. Can I use them? Whoa! Give me that melon! Give me that melon! No! No! Melon! I think I got all the fruits. Pretty sure I only missed peppers, but I might be wrong on that. Guess we'll see in the future. There we go. And we're off. Uh, Give me that. No, I should. Pretty sure the butterfly, when you eat it, it gives you full health, so I should probably actually save that for later. Oh, yeah! This is the dragon! I remember this guy. He looks a little scary, but he is nice. Pretty sure. I remember it being pretty uh, intimidating as a kid. Seeing this big old honking dragon. Oh no, my bananas! Oh, melon. There's like a challenge. It's like one of those unofficial speedrun challenges where you, um, 
where you just get all of uh, those those melons. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. No. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, I hacked it up. Frustration. Oh, well. I still got three Yoshis. Uh, let's go yellow. <laughs> I already used the sky blue one, so. Oh, shit. I should have gotten some eggs. That's all right. There should be... Oh, hey, the bananas are back. That's nice. Shit. Uh, oh, I immediately guffed it up. Let me return to the same course. Yes. Yes. Blue. Blue like the sky. Now let me make sure I remember the eggs. I remember that you can just fall through. Gat dang dragon. Nope. Guess guess you can't get eggs at this part. Let's find out. Whoop. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Ah. No. Let me eat him. Shit. This part's hard. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. This part's pretty hard. I'm losing Yoshi's left and right. My last Yoshi, dude. Alright, alright. Gonna play it real safe this time. Not gonna mess around. I don't need that secret, man. I'm already in a secret. Why would I need a second secret on top of that? Let's just go. Let's just Yoshi the story. Or the story... G give the story to Yoshi... Yo Yo Yoshi story. Are you sure? Nope. I remember being able to, like, pop -pa down on the, uh... The uh, bubbles and still get some right. bees. Bees, bees, bees. Oh, melon, melon. Let me get that melon. Let me get that melon. There we go. Got through it. I might actually be able to fit in two runs of this. I'm making great time. Oh yeah, this is the guy I was thinking of. Look at this big friggin' chonkus. Cloud in candy. It's uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, uh, there was weird stuff in most of the games, but yeah, this guy's whole thing is he's eat him up. It's just kind of candy. Eat him. Wow, that was incredibly easy. Is this a kids' game? I get an inkling that this is a children's game. That it might be off sync with the actual song. All right, new best. A new uh, emulation. There we go. Thirty minutes, halfway through the game already. There are definitely a few coming up that are gonna take for fucking ever. So I'm not too confident that I'll get this in under an hour, but I think I should be able to get somewhere. There's one part where it's like, you can explore the levels more if you want to, but there's not really much incentive to, because uh, the actual goal is just getting the fruit. So you gotta get the fruit. Aw, oh, yeah. I always love this jungle area. Let's see what we got. Jungle Puddle. I prefer Jungle Hut, personally, if I remember what, uh, what it was. Down to just the red one. So, I guess I'm assuming that uh, I'll be able to even make it through here. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, there's a lot of slowdown in this area. I'm not as worried for Paper Mario with that because uh, while this is a platformer, Paper Mario is turn-based RPG. There's some parts that may be kind of tricky, but 
For the most part, it shouldn't be too hardware intensive. Mm, yeah. The majority of it... Ooh, oh, this screen tear. Oof. Oof. Hope that isn't too apparent on the stream end. I am going to review this later, so apologies if this is real choppy and nonsensical. I think I gotta... Bow! No? Shit. Oh, yeah. This part's where things get real... Tr ah, I'm just gonna keep going. I don't need those two apples. Yeah, I personally like this because it has my boy Spike. It has the Bogo Shy Guys. Oh, yeah. I remember this running real slow as a kid, too. Um... And it's got chain chomps later on. Each of the huts has like a different little thing going on. Oof. Oh, the object limit. Oh god, it's so slow. It's so slow. Yikes. Yeah, this game was too advanced for N64. Too advanced. This is definitely not one that's ever going to get a port. And, I mean, honestly, it looks like its predecessors ended up being a lot better anyways. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's going to be annoying for later. I'd consider also streaming Mischief Makers at some point, but Mischief Makers, um... Ooh, that, that, that game, in my experience with emulators, is pretty rough. Like, it does not handle the textures well. And if it's barely handling Yoshi's story here, mm, I don't know. Alright, let me get out of this area and it'll get a lot smoother, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, it's just because it had such a large area to process. Alright. Uh, 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 sluggish. Okay, we're through, we're through. Uh, can I jump down? Nope. No down jump. What we do got over here? My boy Spike. He looks like garbage. This is like the ugliest version of Spike. He is my favorite boy from the Mario uh, Pantheon. Shit, shit. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, yeah. The eight. The flower th thing. How does this work? It's like... Uh, whoop. Well, I think that's a game over. Which is fine. I'll just start another run. It's so sad. Pulled away. Yep, game over. All right, let's start another run. I'm getting the hang of it this time. So, story mode... I think I'll have unlocked more stuff this time, so let me try a different one on page one. Let's see. Oh, I never got that as a kid. Um, they're blue when you haven't done them and red when you have. Surprise, rail lift. Uh, let's go tower climb. Tower climb I remember being pretty fun. Lucky fruit is melon. Woe to melon. Let's start with the pink Yoshi again. Let's go. Wait. This is not the one I thought it was. That's okay, though. I don't, um... Well, let me just... Spam some uh, energies real quick. Oh, yeah! It's this shit. Oh, boy. Okay. Gotta brace myself. Because this whole thing, it's a balance board, but where you balance is which direction it goes. It's not too hard to control. But it's just finicky enough to be a pain. And that's why I call most things, really, is a pain. So, in my opinion, is not indicative of people's actual feelings on the matter. Man, N64 games didn't, must have been real demanding. What were the specs on N64? Because, like... I'm on a modern computer. 
And this, this sluggish... I am also running OBS, so maybe that's taking up a lot. We're gonna go to the left. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh... I mean, it's still the first part. It's not quite a tutorial, but... It is still pretty early stuff. This is not nearly as difficult as a... As a leaf surfing, which will, or feather surfing it might be called. It's been a long time. Um, but I remember that being really, really difficult to get the hang of. Nope, no, no, don't do it. Uh, those guys thing is if they are blue, they make you sad if you eat them. But if they're, oh, cool. I think I'll have to find that later. But if they're pink, they make you happy. And the whole theme of the game is built around uh, finding your happiness. But the happiness was really all the fruit we ate along the way. You know? Remember remember when Joyce said that? And Dickens was like, please, sir, may I have some more fruit? And remember like yesterday. Ooh. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah. See, there were cool ideas in these games. It wasn't all just silliness. Shit, shit. Oh god, bullet bills. Oh god, oh god, I missed so much. Why did I miss so much? Oof. Yeah, I just did not do this segment very well. That's fine. Whoa. Oh, man, yeah, this umbrella is real difficult to control. Let's keep it going. Damn, whoop! Okay. It's, it's a lot easier than I remember, probably because I was really young when I played this the first, first times. I must have been in, like, first or second grade? third at the latest thinking on where I would have been living when I played this game um but yeah I, I I'm having fun I can understand I, I was a little sad that the the game grumps's uh playthrough of this ended up just being them ranting about how nobody wanted this and how awful it is and it's like I just you know. The thing is, I don't think any of the any of the uh, uh, Nintendo install or the N64 installments of the classic Nintendo properties are very great. I will say Super Mario 64 revolutionized stuff, so that's that one's pretty solid. Although by today's standard, like I'd rather play Odyssey, and that's just because it's. It's more developed with all of the sensibilities we've found in the many, many years since. But, I still enjoy playing 64. Especially if I can get the DS version, because that one has all of the fun little mini-games, which you get by capturing more rabbits throughout the game. And like, each character has their own unique mini-games with different styles, like... Uh, in, in Super Mario 64 DS, you play as Yoshi first, and then you have to uh, find bosses, like new Bowser-style bosses and levels that have Wario, Luigi, and Mario, and each one, um, hmm? What did I miss? I did something wrong there. Um, each one has their own specific like set of mini games that you can unlock by catching more rabbits around the world, as I said. And it's it's based around different themes. So Yoshi's was all luck-based, fun stuff, like a fortune-telling mini game, and just sort of a. Uh, um, 
What's the one? The one where you like to pick the flower petals off and you, uh... Um... He loves me, he loves me not. Right? Something like that. I don't recall. But, uh... Then, Luigi's was all casino and card games. And chance. Uh... Uh... Mario's were puzzles, I think? I don't recall. It's been a long-ass time. It's been a long time. It is a good addition to it, though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> I did that wrong. Hold on. Whoop. Yeah. Oh. What am I supposed to do here? Tell me, box. Oh, okay, it's just a flick thing. I was trying to hit a button. Pew! Pew! Well, I'm not going very far. Wow, that's overwhelming. Should I be able to go, like, further? Or is it, like, a based on how fast you do it? Can I do it in the air? Oh, I can. Okay, so that's, like, a... Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like that. <laughs> That's really difficult to control. I mean, I'm going, but... Yeah, this sucks. This specific mechanic is real annoying. So let's get out of this area and head on to somewhere better, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm already like halfway through the stage, a little more than halfway, so I did pick like the the last one in the list, so I presume that means that it's supposed to be harder. But it could also be not necessarily more difficult. It could just be the standard amount of difficulty. Yes? Ah, a little leap of faith action. That's always a good thing in game design. A little leap of faith. Oh, is this? No, it's just more of these. I thought that was a. Uh, I thought that was leaf surfing. I was about to get excited. Cause let me tell you, leaf surfing. It's satisfying once you get the hang of it. Um, will I be able to get the hang of it? Uh, maybe not. It took me forever as a kid to get the hang of it. Come on, do the thing, Yoshi! Alright, and I think I can just... Yup. Cheese that. Uh-oh. 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 Oh god, I hope there's not just a death drop down there. Ooh. Watch out. Oh. Eh. Guess I was okay the whole time. Who would've known? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just the other area from the top. God damn it. So yeah, I only had like a couple melons to gain from doing that whole thing. So, glad I skipped it the first time and then got tricked into doing it again. Whoa, whoa. There's a tiny bit of input lag. And that is making some of this platforming a mite difficult. It's not too bad though, so I can manage. I can, I mean, honestly, I can tolerate up to a certain extent. If I, if I like the aesthetic of a game, I can tolerate some weirdnesses with the control and stuff, but man, if it's a game that I'm not already, like, ready for, like, already happy to put up with whatever bullshit it throws at me, I am fucking just done. Oh, I've never found that bit, because I've found the hearts before, but I, it only does that tutorial message if you find one in the first page, I guess? Huh. That's 
different. Ah, that's interesting. Now that's kind of bad. I'd say, honestly, I feel like you'd want to set it up to be uh, consistent with whatever the first heart the player gets is. Is there like an end to this section? They're implying it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm an egg. Help, help. Shit. God damn it, this flick move is not intuitive. Whoa. God damn it. I gotta get up as egg. 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 Go up. 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 Oh. Got a grape. Okay. Okay. I only need a handful. Oh, wait. I see you sleeping down there. Aha! An exit. Thank God. This storybook field is really cute, too. I just... I wish it wasn't so ugly. Because as much as I, like, have nostalgia for these visuals... Ooh, this game's real ugly. It just looks... It looks so slapped together. You know? Whoa! Banana! Banana! One more fruit! One more fruit! Where's that? Come on, come on, give me one more. I just need one. I just need one fruit. Anything. Melon! Give me that melon. Give me... Uh, let me get that melon. Oh, no! Damn it! Okay, let's go back up. Whoa. Eat it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that was a much longer level than the first one I picked, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I can't remember if that's how good I did the first time. Sounds about right. Oh yeah. Yoshi's Crafted Story looks great. I really want to get that one at some point and probably play it on stream. As well as off stream, because it just looks cute. Like th I'm, I'm pretty sure what they wanted to do with this is make basically what Yoshi's Crafted World is, but they just didn't have the technology to make that look good yet. So they just had this weird mishmash of like pop up book, story book, weird CG creatures. This is the first appearance of Poochie though, so that's cool. I like that guy. I wish these cutscenes were skippable. They might be if I hit start, I guess. But I don't want to skip them all. Okay. Blarg's board boiler. Now that's one. That's the one I played more as a kid. I remember that for sure. So let's let's go after Blarg here. Gonna do this level and then probably take a quick break so that I can stretch. It's important, folks. Like, I know everybody gets mad at Nintendo or whatever video game company for being like, Oh, you want to take a break? And it's like, well, you want me not to play your game? But genuinely, it's it's important. Like, you got to keep your blood flowing. You got to make sure that you're, you're in good shape to keep gaming. And, uh, the important part of that is just stretching. I just do, like, 30 jumping jacks every hour or so gaming when I can. I mean, obviously, sometimes in these streams, I miss that, so don't, don't worry, I'm admitting it here, you don't have to go back through and find, make a friggin' super cut or whatever of all the times I've gone for many hours, ah, crap, I grabbed the wrong one, um, many hours without stretching, I know, I, I was there, dude, I, I saw it, saw the whole thing, with my own two eyes, and the rest of me, because I it was me. I saw that one from the inside. Whoa, come on, come on. Let's do that. Nope, 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 not the lava. The lava is an insta-death in this, if I remember correctly. The f Some of these designs are real weird. 
Give me, give me a melon. Give me the other melon. No. Lava. It's also all made out of bones and teeth. Or maybe those are supposed to be. Ah, shit. Those are supposed to be vertebrae. In any case, it is a bone. Which I feel like bones would also melt here, but they are effectively very spooky. So I'm happy that they included that. I do enjoy the spooky aesthetic. Hmm. Alright. Oh, good. Give us a couple of those. And I'm already halfway through. See, these early levels are easy, but it's, like I said, as soon as you hit four, um, four, three, uh, yeah, once you hit four, it gets in immensely harder. Oh, no. Oh, I remember these balls. Okay, this is, ooh. now, how this one works is that you just have to be on the side to put enough weight on it to tilt it. But it's not super consistent. So you gotta be very careful. Because if you go too far, you just fall right into the right into the soup. Right into the heckin' drink. There we go. There we go. Gimme that apple. Gimme give, give, give that apple. Yoshi hungry for fruit. The thing I always like about Yoshi is there's so, there's something about even when you're playing as Yoshi, it always damn it, it always feels like you're in a third person kind of perspective. Like they always have like a weird degree of separation to make it feel like it's not you as Yoshi, but rather Yoshi is hanging out. You know. I think I'm going to turn the game audio down a touch, just to even it out a little bit. Uh, yeah, that might be a little high. Let's go down to negative 20, I think. Oh, no, it's doing the thing. I hate when it does this. Um, It either does negative 19.9 or negative 20.1, and I cannot get exactly negative 20. It's real frustrating. Oh, more fireworks. All right. I'll let this play out so that you can watch it, all of, all, all one of you, and I'll be right back.
See what my video and audio are like. That's not too bad. When I'm playing. Alright, when I'm playing, it's, um, might be a little bit choppier, but that's not too bad. I think. Let me open up the chat again. There's the chat. Okay. Back at it, folks. Playing more Yoshi Story. Ooh, the Tall Tower. That's the one that I thought. Um, that I thought that other one I was doing was. Alright. I'm also thinking, um, thinking next time because I'm recognizing that it's overloading the encoding, but I also have it set to like 720p for uh for retro games and most of them were like I mean yeah most of them were like 24360p or something so we're going to we're going to probably not need that as much all right these springs I remember these springs being really fun yeah whoa 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 whoa, whoa. crap there we go all right shit now, the ideal would be that I be streaming with another computer. Whoops. Don't want to eat the peppers, they hurt you. Um, they're too spicy. But, right now I only have the one computer. I did have a desktop, but I think actually this is... This would have been better as the streaming computer even then, because it was like the cheapest desktop you could buy. Could have just gotten a graphics card. Ran a financial, dire financial streets for a bit though. So that's freelance life. Sometimes, sometimes your business takes a little dip for a minute, and you gotta, you gotta readjust things, sell off assets or whatever. Business, business, baby. All right. And. A criticism I've seen of this game is that, like, yes, the graphics don't look good. We're aware of that. Like, these springs are all clearly the same, like, spring-like image, just copied over and stretched and stuff. But, like, they feel really good in the actual gameplay. Like, the big ones are, like, really big and springy, and the, the small one. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, these guys. They're just for, like extra eggs when you get higher up because this is one of those ones where you're gonna probably fall and stuff and I'm this is the one with leap surfing I'm pretty sure for feather surfing I can't remember which it is but that's uh that's gonna be coming up pretty soon no the boy was roasted hmm Let me up, let me up. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing is that no matter how big or long most of these levels are, the only thing that really changes is how uh, is how many fruits you can get. Because if you once you get the the required amount of fruit, the level's done. So they just make fruit more sparse, sparse, sparse. 
the later levels. Look at that man. Yes. Halfway through. Good. I think I've been saying that consistently. Whoa! Shit! Okay, that didn't do that before. Aw, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, there was a. Aww. Oh. Dang, melon. Dang, honeydew melon. Or probably musk melon. For a Japanese game. Hop over. Oh, oh. Was that? Was that? Melon. Melon! Good. Into the pot of mystery. I've heard sparse. Or sparse. I think. No, now you're making me second guess myself. I don't know. Here we go. Leaf surfing. Whoops, I missed. Let me try that again. Whoop. Ooh. There we go. It's just like a... I mean, it's just like the way a leaf moves. You kind of just have to fall and then flick it back to uh, control the uh, general trajectory. Oh, do I get to try that again, or did I just fail outright? I was enjoying myself for a second. I was enjoying myself for once in this freaking game. I'm just kidding. I'm having a pretty good time in general. It's pretty finicky. Partially because of the way that I am playing it, but... Whoa! It's not too bad. Whoa! Shit, shit. Okay, didn't fall that time. Ah, another secret. What does this secret hold? Oh yeah, it's the, uh, it's the leaf race. I remember this from being a kid. It's not that hard. Um, because if you just do it. And honestly, it makes me think of us uh, swinging around in the good Spider-Man games, like the one that was on PS4, where you can kind of control the speed by uh, how how deep into it you go. Nice. All seven. White egg. White egg? I'll be honest, I have not played this game since I'm a kid. I, I Since I was a kid, and I was never that good at it as a kid. So, um, yeah, if there is a secret such as a white egg, I've never heard of it. I, I do recognize that um, when I played as a kid, there were like clearly a ton of secrets that I was missing. Because it would always show you at the end, once you'd gone through a run, uh, it would just be, like, all of the ones that you missed. And so, there was just, like, a sixth of the game that you actually finished. So, yeah, I don't know. How, how, where do I find this white egg? Was it in this level? Should I have waited for your response? Oh, yeah. This is the... This is the boss for this level. Inviso! Which, um, it's not too hard, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. This guy's a pushover. I mean, it is kid difficulty, so. Pushover for me was quite the challenge as a child. Get out of here, get out of here. And ask for you. That's it? Three hits? Okay. If you say so. Let me angle that down. You, I don't need that much headspace. Alright. Yoshi's Mood. 2200. That's pretty good. It's probably because I won that race. Okay. Yeah. Doing good. Doing real good. 
on to part four. Hopefully I don't die miserably. I didn't lose any Yoshis yet, so I think I should be good. I wonder if there's always a boss on all of the summit ones, or if that's just specifically the tall tower. I don't know, all you Yoshi Story fans, let me know. Because, like, I played a lot of this, but I played a lot of this as a kid, so I'm not anywhere near any of you, uh, you speedrunner types, completionists out there. Although I may do that at some point. I'm just doing a one-off for now, because we're gearing up for a pretty big series on Monday. Ooh, ooh. Oh god, oh god. Yep, yeah, emulator does not like, does not like this level. Or maybe OBS doesn't like this level, I don't know. That's just classic retro slowdown. Y'all nostalgic for that? Is that a thing we're nostalgic for yet? What's interesting is if you play a lot of those older games, um on a console that can do it without slowdown, it, you realize really quickly how much they actually designed around the slowdown so that um, nobody... so that the challenge... They could, they could make it way more challenging, but because it was so slow, it would end up being a little easier because it gave you a little extra time to react. Uh, you know what I was thinking earlier, too? I should play, um, at some point, the, the, uh, Legacy of Goku series, which is, um, a Dragon Ball Z series for Game Boy Advance, and I, I wasn't the hugest fan of Dragon Ball Z, I liked Dragon Ball a lot, but Dragon Ball Z is kinda eh, um, but the games were really fun, cause they were like action RPGs in sort of a top-down mode. And, like, especially once you got to Legacy of Goku 2, which is, uh, the first one, it goes through beginning of the story through the Frieza saga, and it's nigh impossible without cheats. Um, they basically have the Konami code, and it makes you invulnerable, and you will need that because, yeah, it is, it is so difficult. What am I doing? I have eggs now. Um... It's incredibly difficult with without that. And then Legacy of Goku 2 is the one where you have multiple characters and you're not just Goku the whole time. And that is um that is pretty much just the Cell Saga. No, it's the Saiyan and the Cell Saga, right? No, the Saiyan Saga is before Frieza. What am I saying? But yeah, it's just the Cell Saga, and then the 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 third game. Ugh, those huts really really make this drag. Um, the third game was Dragon Ball Z: The Legacy of Boo, and that's just the Boo Saga. That was the last of them because I'm pretty sure that's where Dragon Ball Z ends, and it goes to GT next. I don't know. I, I didn't really watch much of GT, and by my understanding, I am better off for that. It was, from what I hear, a disappointment. But then again, I hear mixed things about Super as well. I'd like to welcome any new viewers that to the stream who weren't here originally. I apologize for any weird, glitchy stuff with this. This is kind of a test run to see how well this uh, particular emulator will work for a much more ambitious stream of Paper Mario on Monday. So if you're seeing any weirdnesses or choppiness or whatever, um, let me know. i I trying to work any of that out before I go into the more serious streaming marathon on Monday. <laughs> Alright, oof. Yeah, this was a bad one to pick, because <laughs> this is all huts. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, and this might be... Nope. No, that's not. There is one that's like two giant chain chomps. And I remember even as a kid, like that one killed the frame rate. Like, it was such a slow part of the level. Ah, stop. Stop. Jerks. My jerkuses. 
Melon. Melon. Gotta get the melons. Whoop. Slowdown is actually working to my advantage, though, because I can, can react a little quicker. Oh my god, yeah, this, honestly, this might just be how this game played. Because <laughs> I, as I'm doing this, this doesn't feel any different than my memories of it. So, could have just been a real leggy game. Or, my memories could be wrong. Or, all, all, all of the above? Everything I said. Yes. Yes, it is that one. Oh yeah, and this is the one with the shy guys on stilts. Heck yeah, be back to that guy in a minute. Is this the chain shops? Nope. Oh, but there's, there it is. There's the guy. It is just, they're just shy guy. But you can bump them off of the stilts first. That's adorable. I love it. Ooh, a heart. Whoa. Right, let's hit, hit miss warp so that we can keep up with it. It's a bit choppy looking. See, that's the thing, is that um, it's probably, I mean, most of my captures have been pretty choppy. And I apologize for that, it is just technical limitations. I'm streaming on pretty much the lowest hardware you could conceivably stream on without having major problems. Uh, but also, it's kind of just this game. This game is very slow and wonky. Whoa. Shit. These stilt guys are really hard to deal with, actually. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Yeah, Dinon also said that it was pretty choppy 1 over 2, so that's... It's the consensus. For Paper Mario, I'm pretty sure... I mean, I know there's specific points that, like, are really graphically intensive in, like, certain cutscenes, but for, like, a lot of the gameplay, it should it should be pretty alright. Because it's mostly just, like, pretty simple 2D sprites. Well, I think they're 3D, but it's, like, a 2D plane. I don't know. I don't know... I'm not a not a video gamer. Er, er, er. Whoop! There we go. Wow. Wow. Man, I forgot, like, how difficult it is to fill... fill airtime... um... going solo. Because, like, on so many of my recent streams, Andrew has just been... Talking through uh, uh, quite a bit, which leaves me plenty of time to focus on the game. But in this case, uh oh, that, oh oh, it turned into like a, a fist of bees. That's cute. Oh, and it's stopping. That's cute. That is cute stuff right there. Come on. Let me get the grapes. Get the grapes. All right. Let me, no. No. Let me through. Can I lit? Bit, bit. Let me get the melon. There we go. That did it. All right. So that's four of six. I should be able to get to uh, the boss. The end boss here. Um, although I remember five and six being exceptionally difficult. So we will see. I think, I think the main issue this game had was that um, it felt inconsistent with the design in that all of the fun stuff of the game design, it's like, it's there, it's fun to do, but it feels incongruous with your actual goal. Because like right there, I forgot that my whole goal was to actually collect fruit. Like I completely forgot about that, so I was just going through and paying attention to all the cute stuff, so, I don't know. I should put my wrist cuff on. 
My wrist is a little, a little tired. Hold on. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Oh. Put some Tiger Bomb on it, and now it smells of Christmas. It's very, it's got a very spicy scent. Like, uh, it's, I mean, honestly, like, yeah, there's no other better way to put it. It's just the, the sort of Christmassy spices. Oh, I didn't know Miss Warp could be in the bubble. All right. Oh, yeah, this is like the Mario-style thing. Going through the pipe. Oh, it's the water level. That's right. That's why I always have trouble at this point, because I fucking hate water levels in any game any game they're always just like the worst one everybody's like oh the sewer level's the worst one and yeah ice level fair enough water level no question every game every game water water levels are just infuriating can i go faster no this is this this is the speed this is the speed that I can Yosh at. This is the only one you can Yosh. This is actually making me think of um, Echo the Dolphin. I was just talking about that with Coco the other day. There was like a video on it that we were thinking about watching. I played a bit of Echo the Dolphin. That game was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. One over two, exactly. Sewers are just dirty water levels. But the thing is, the sewer level usually just has the sewer be, like, lava. So it's basically just a lava level that looks gross. Whereas, like, water levels... I This is what I think when I think of water level. I will say it's better than the ones in, like, 3D platformers. But I just... Uh, I get it. Like, your first inclination, it's like, okay, there's going to be a big adventure in our game. We should uh, we should have a point where you go into the ocean. That's adventurous. And it's like, yes, that that is that is an adventurous, like, concept. And that is uh, a different use of the mechanics. But I don't feel like it's always a fun use of the mechanics. Very often, it's just kind of a bleh. You know? You know? I think you know. I think you all know. Really. I feel like I don't have to prattle on about it, but that's what I'm here for. This is a whole kitchen caboodle of my my gig on this site. Mm, whoop. Oh no. Who oh, no. They always gotta have one kissy fish. Oh, there's always gotta be one fish with big ol' kissy lips. I don't like it. I don't like it. Also, just like, uh, look at this. This does not look like it's from a Mario, like, property at all. At the same time, though, you see some of the stuff that goes all over the properties of Mario, and you're like, uh, well, maybe. I just, I don't see why this had to be this 2.5D look, because it is effectively just a 2D side-scroller. And, like... Unlike Kirby, Kirby did a great 2.5D game with uh, with what it did, and it actually like iterated on Kirby because it made it um, it made it it made it uh, what's the word? It 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 just took Kirby, gave it some 3D graphics, and made it more like beautifully presentable. Background has eyes. Does it? This background? Maybe it's the other one. Um, background has eyes. Or are you talking about, is this a Hills Has Eyes reference? Gimme. <laughs> nice. Um, but also, it lets you combine copy abilities, which was so cool. There were so many combinations. My personal favorites being uh, cho chopper Chopper, which would be uh, a big ol' Swiss Army knife, or maybe that was Spike Spike, I can't remember. 
and also uh, electric sword. No, not electric sword. Um, something, not fire sword. Maybe it was electric sword, but you could have a lightsaber. Uh, there was also like bomb, boomerang bomb. It was like these exploding churikens. Oh, yeah, these jellyfish can kind of blend in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this stage is definitely gonna be choppy because like there's all of these bubbles and things that have to come in. Like the rendering is not gonna be able to help it. Here's the thing, even on my preview here, I can see that it's a little choppy. Um, Preferably, if I can get it so that the audio is smooth and only the picture is choppy, I can live with that. You know, because you can... Good audio with decent to bad video is a lot more tolerable than bad audio. Period. Bad audio just sucks. It's, it's unpleasant. And no matter how good your video looks, if your audio sucks... It's just going to be annoying for people to watch. And some people might still tolerate it if your stuff is good enough, but... Why? Because the thing is with... Um, with content creation for the internet, you're competing against hundreds of other things that could be just as, if not more, entertaining than what you're doing. So, like, why... Why give them any reason to click off? You already only get like 5 to 15 seconds before somebody potentially clicks away from what you made, so why give them more incentive to do that? When you could instead make something the best you can, and yes, people will still click off because, you know, you can't please everybody. It's a fool's errand to try, but it's, it's just a percentages game. It's like... There's like a rough thing from whoa oh god I forgot about this guy this noodly man. Um, uh, there was a thing I remember from like a, a book on sales I read, where it was basically and this is a gross generalization but basically thirty. Um, ah, shit I died because I was reading the chat. My bad. Um. No, Pink Yoshi! I almost made him to the end. Um, a lot of, uh, basically 30% of people, and this, is, this isn't exactly accurate, but let's say a third of people are just gonna say yes to what you're saying. They're just in, they're into whatever you have, so they don't, they don't care how well you present it, they're good. 30%, another third, just are gonna say no. They don't care. They, they, no matter what you say, you're not going to get them to buy. So that last third, or whatever percentage it is, who are in the maybe category, that is the people you need to concern yourself with. The more of them you can get on board, the more overall, um, more you will get overall. Oh, I gotta watch out for this noodle man. Ooh, he's got a big old space sucker. Uh, I could probably get more fruit. Ooh, well, he's not too long. So that's pretty good. God, he's fast though. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, as one over two says here, uh, a lot of people with bad quality don't know how to fix it due to ignorance, and that is that is true. I, for a long time, did not understand a lot of stuff about how to how to properly set things up. And clearly, I'm still learning with streaming and stuff. Um, I know where I'm failing here in that I know I know how I could fix it real easily, and that's just get a better computer. <laughs> but I don't have the the money for it. Yeah, fans will, will give them decent mics and cameras, or at least decent mic and camera uh, recommendations, and their success will get them the, the revenue they need to do it. And that's my hope with this. Like, I'm hoping that I can get to a level where I can get some revenue coming in for this from subscriptions and stuff. I have to hit affiliate first, but that's not too difficult, um, really, in the long run. 
But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to use most of the money coming in for, is just upgrading stuff so that I can improve the overall experience for all uh, all y'all viewers. And, you know, make it less of a headache for me. Because it is frustrating having to work with um, less than optimal equipment. Excuse me. But yeah, the, the thing is, like, it's not even necessarily about having good equipment or anything. Because you can have the best equipment, but if you don't know how to use it, it's going to be useless to you. So, in reality, what you need to focus on is learning how to use the equipment you have to the best of your ability. Like, right now, I'm pretty much just using my MacBook and the webcam on it. And then I got all the art done by Coco. Thanks for that. It's very beautiful, and I like it a lot. And so does pretty much everybody I've shown it to. Um, but then, yeah, it's just the built-in webcam, PS4 controller. The, the biggest expenses are just video games I already had. So, for the most part, it's doable. It's just, it's going to be more difficult with lower-end equipment. And the thing is, you should learn how to use the equipment you have to the best of your ability. And then when you recognize the way that it's bottlenecking you, then you get the next best equipment. But don't focus on tiny incremental steps either. Like, it's better to save up for something that will improve your stuff by 30% than to... Uh, than to just buy, like, six things that get you 5% at a time. Because it's just going to cost more in the long run. Alright. Here we go, finale. We got Mecha Castle, Ghost Castle, Lift Castle. Ooh, that's a good question. I like Mecha Castle. Let's go with that. It's kind of steampunky. It's a little scary. Let's go with red. This is the finale, and then I believe there's a boss fight? At the at the end of this, I don't know if that counts as another part. Oh right, this is a mechanic. You gotta whoop, thrust with it whoop, and get it going. Once you get it up high enough, it'll get that out of the way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. And I remember getting off these things is always super awkward, so let's try and do it. Whoa. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Those are really scary. Those right there. Yeah. Those terrified me as a kid. Because they ju they're just knives, dude. They're just huge knives ready to slice Yoshi in half. Honestly, when you break this down, like, a single run is effectively just a, uh, a, pretty much a single world from Yoshi's Island, but you get to pick which, in each theme, what your, uh, preferred level would be. Um, whoops. Watch out. Oh, watch out. Ooh, it's sharp. No. No, don't hurt him. Don't hurt my boy. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa. Something I've been paying attention to. So, like, visually, color, obviously, color theory and stuff is cool. But I've been thinking about specifically um, colorblind modes and how accessibility works for people who are colorblind in games of all kinds. Shit. Board games or online games like this, um, and it's fascinating. There's a lot of, like, tabletop games you could not play if you were colorblind without modding it in some way, and if you do, you'd need some kind of help. Or those colorblind glasses, which everything I see makes it seem like they work. I don't know how they work, but they look cool. I'm not colorblind myself, but I just... Again, like, with the... the th the, um, the yes, no, maybe thirds. It's like, 
why exclude people with a visual disability when you can instead do a little extra work to make sure they're included and then they can also enjoy your game. It's, it seems pretty short-sighted to exclude people with disabilities from, from uh, playing. They like games too. Why wouldn't they? Games are fun. Well, these are meant to be, by my understanding. Whoop. Oh god, I hate these wheels. Oh, I dislike these wheels. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh god, those are like immediate death. Oh my god. The annoying kind of colorblind where it's only apparent when I take a colorblindness test. Hmm. What kind of colorblind is that? Because I'm not, I'm not super familiar with all the types. I've looked them up before, um, but I don't, I d don't have a good memory for terms in general. So. And yes. I guess some games, I, I, uh, maybe they're not meant to be fun. Um, I've been reading a lot of stuff about the the games that last are ones that have, according to Rules of Play, which is the main book I've been reading about it lately. It's uh, it's supposed to have meaningful play because play is a very important thing, and games of any form are like really important to humanity, or any creatures really, because play is incredibly important to development and continuing development, because you develop throughout your entire life. It's not just a thing that happens when you're a kid. Don't pass the dot test. Fair enough. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I guess I've never taken a colorblindness test, but I've never had a time where I've seen one of the the colorblindness, the like dots, like you said, um, and not been able to discern the colors. So I think that's a pretty good sign that I'm not colorblind. There is always the thing of like, we're taught colors. Here's the thing, we say colorblind, but at the same time, like, Colors, the way we teach them, are relative, and as as many people point out at this point, like the the green I see could be a totally diff. It could look completely different from the green you see, but because that green is relative to yellow, blue, and all the other colors on the spectrum and stuff, um, as long as you can discern it from the other colors, like. There's no way to know what it would actually look like to another person. Or maybe there is. I don't know. I, I haven't looked into it. I think there might be an episode of Vsauce about that. I always want to watch more Vsauce, but it's it's kind of dense in that there's a lot of info that they go over. Whoop. Yep. Yeah. See... Th this is the thing with this game, is that, like, there's so many mechanics they introduce, and they seem like they could be fun, but kind of just tedious. Like, I liked leaf surfing, but that was only for, like, a short segment, and this bit... This bit is so tedious. Like, I'm, I'm having no trouble doing it. Oh, shit. Almost got crushed. Um, it's, like, it's not difficult. It just takes a while. Whoa. Oh yeah, this is something. I mean, fuck, they did this with Mode 7 back on, um, back in Yoshi's Island on the SNES. So, like, why did they need to do a full 3D render of this log when they could did the same kind of stuff with just SNES graphics? Shit. Shit. Let me out. Ooh, watch out! Hydraulic press! Come on, come on. Give me the fruit. 
fruit. Give me the fruit. I tried to be fancy and get them all at once. Didn't work out. Did not work out. I apologize if I have like a lot of extra mouth noise. I had a very... Uh, uh, well, maybe not very sugary drink, but a pretty sugary drink. Um, not too long before I, I, I did this. That sugar dries your mouth out. It's real, real gummy. Nasty. Alright, two more. Two more and that's gonna be the end of this run. Woo! Oh, watch out. Watch out. Oh, no. Huh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I remember those hydraulic presses from when I was a kid. Uh, they are, like, there's just no leeway with them. They will immediately crush you and you're done. Melon. 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 Give it to me. There we go. You don't even need to land. You just get that last fruit and it ends right there. Mm. There we go. Yep. Final boss. Alright, and there's this little hint at how you're supposed to do this. Which is the bob bombs at the ceiling. And if, as you can see, there's uh, a lot of... Oh, no. There's a lot of... Uh, spikes. Ouch. Let me just get rid of these, because I just need the bob bombs for this fight. So we just gotta knock off a spike. Hit him. There we go. And then we... Yoop. Whoops. I forgot about that. Watch out! Woohoohoo! Woohoohoo! Alright, and then we just... Whoop! Oh, that counts too, I think. Um, I don't think he gets giant the way he does in Yoshi's Island, which is a little disappointing, because that's, like, one of the most visually cool boss fights. I mean, music, too. Like, music in that boss fight is amazing. It's so intimidating. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Gotta get the health. Gotta get the health. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, so this is just... Biao. No, biao. I no, get him. Mother. Ba bam. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, that. Uh, yeah, I think I just gotta get the ba bombs. Get him. There we go. And whoop. Got him. That's it. There's three. That's pretty easy. Oh, wait. Wait. Another form? No, nope. nope, that's it. There may be a secret boss. I don't know. I've I've actually I've never played through every single level in this. But I have played several runs in the past as a kid. So we'll see how see how it goes. Cause uh I still got some time. I think I can get through another run here. I'm all warmed up for it. Oh, sweet. I got over 10,000. That's pretty good. Yeah, 10,800. Aw, oh, sweet. Name. Iggy. Uh. Whoa. Oh, where's the one guy? There's the one. There's the one, like. Yeah, that one. That one. I'm pretty sure that, uh, I think that's the one Coco said just extends it, so that's basically just saying Iggy. But I just like little smiley. Kanji. Katakana. I'm, I don't know. I apologize for my ignorance. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Now we get a recap of the whole story, and then we will start over. I'll take another quick break, and then we'll do an, uh, we'll do another run here. Sue? Is that what it was? I don't know. I, I, 
I can't read any Japanese. I can recognize some small words if I hear them. Hmm. I feel like I could be reading these, but... My voice... Katakana? Okay. My voice is a little tired, so I don't want to wear it. I mean, I'm talking regardless. I don't want to go full narration because it's a little more tiring. This is just, this is a lot of repetitive stuff. Extender is just, oh, right, whatever. I just like how it looks like a little smiley face, to be honest. And I always, that's pretty much the only one I ever recognize when I, uh, when I see written Japanese. I'd like to learn Japanese. I'd also like to continue learning, um, Spanish on Duolingo. It just got repetitive, which I, I'm getting repetitive talking about it because I, I mention it almost every stream. Sue is some Sue is sometimes written smaller as like representing some kind of stop. Hmm. Weird. Okay. So it's more like punctuation in that case. Glottal stop. Maybe. Um, I don't think you'd need to do a glottal stop in Japanese because there's no diphthongs, really. Well, wait, no, I think there are. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know enough Japanese to say for sure. Katakana Shi also looks like, hmm, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to check that out later. Um, I don't know if I'm familiar with that one. The Yoshi's won! Whee! And there they are, with the super happy tree. All's well that ends well. The Yoshis had broken Bowser's spell. The super happy tree was back. They jumped for joy with their fruity snack. Oh yeah. No, I can't narrate right now. Ugh, my voice is a little too dried out. The Yoshis lived happily ever after. Hooray! Happy end. Got the happy end. I don't think there's a bad end or anything, but maybe there is. Guess we'll see. And then does it play credits here? Do I have to hit a button? Yep, there's the credits. Okay, I'm gonna let the credits play for a minute and take a break. So I will be RB, folks. Uh, mute.
huh, the audio, is it just silent for this part? Looks like the game audio isn't going. Hmm. Well, we're going to do another run here. So I'm the number one story ranking of all the people who've played this, which is just me. So, eh. Then one over two took Japanese one through three in high school. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I was not fortunate enough to have any Japanese options at the school I went to. Did it freeze? What's going on here? Do I still have? Hold on. Let me see. Uh, yeah, still the same controller and everything. Start. Start to it. Um, hmm. Do I just need to start over then? Does it want me to reset the game? Uh, shoot, I hope I didn't break it. I mean, I guess the new run won't matter as much anyways. So, uh, restart. Might have deleted that run, but whatever. I have record of it. It'll be on the archive channel, which you can find down below on the browser version. You can also find up above a place where you can click a heart to follow me which I would really appreciate if you have not already done so once I get to 50 then I can do affiliate stuff and that'll be real interesting all right let's see if it's saved any it did okay cool so we're good um let me do another uh, surprise or rail it uh, surprise I don't want to do any do any majorly platformy things I can't remember what lucky fruit means. I don't know. As a kid, I don't think... I think I was a little too young to read the manual for this one. So, I didn't actually... Uh-oh. It's usually when it's starting a level that it's really lagging. Hold on. Hold on. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. There we go. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh no, I do not like this version of Wiggler. Oh no. Gross boy. Gross. Oh, that takes him out. That's good to know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. It's so leggy. Hmm. Oh, I see. Super happy fruit makes you super happy. What are these guys called? Are you gonna tell me? Score high. Nope. Ugh. Melons. Melons. Reading the manual was one of my greatest joys. That's one thing I love about board games, is just reading the manuals for those things. And, uh... Honestly, sometimes I will just go online and find a PDF of different game manuals and read them. Because there's, like, there's a flair and, like, a personality to it. Plus, you can learn a lot about a game by how they decide to teach it to you. So, I, I always appreciate that. Plus, I mean, I'm designing games of my own. Board games, mostly. Although, video games would be good. It's just, I'd have to either learn how to code, which... Oof. Dreading that process just because it's um it's just another thing I'm gonna have to learn. I've already taught myself so much. Or I'd have to partner up with someone who could code. Which I'm pretty sure I know a few people, but I don't Oof. Yeah, I've had a lot of problems with collabing with people and then they flake or I flake or the whole thing we just lose passion for it and it just Goes on the back burner indefinitely. Oh my god. It's so leggy. It's so, so leggy. No, I'm out of eggs. Crap, crap, crap. Listen. Board games. The best video games are the ones that take lessons from board games. All right? And some digital board games are, I would attest, better than some of the best video games. So, you know. Plus, there's something about having to actively play uh, with other people that really, really improves games in general. 
especially if you are at a table with an oh god oh no oh I remember this now I have to balance these across this entire space I don't think it's a race but I do have to keep them balanced I was never good at this as a kid I could never really get the hang of it oh, 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 oh. careful 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 don't drop the don't drop the crate oh no can I jump still can I jump Oh my god. No, no. Ha, 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 There's a goal. There's a goal. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, that was like the most stressful gameplay experience. Is Yoshi's story the Dark Souls of... Nintendo 64 games? Read inside to find out. Pay for a subscription to our news service. All the news that's good enough to print, but uh, not for free, you know? It's nothing that you're gonna miss out on. Five more fruits. Five more fruits. Oh, I already went over there. Let's go back around. Mm. This is my first time getting to wear this specific shirt. Because our, our, our washing machine... I mean, I've talked about it on stream a bit, but our washing machine was just fully backed up. With all kinds of nonsense. And it was... Oh boy, getting it... No, no, not the pink one so soon. <sighs> um, getting a plumber out here was just uh, an utter pain because none of the like huge corporate ones like Roto Rooter come out here. But once they got out here, it was incredibly simple. It took them like a half hour. They just had to like pressure jet whatever clog out. Worked great. It didn't cost too insanely much and now we can wash clothes again so that's that's definitely helpful it's like I've, I've done the laundromat life man I'm not a fan not a fan it's not the worst thing ever but it's like you basically have to like take a whole time out of your day to go do that because I don't trust leaving my clothes in a place no, I have to. I have to keep an eye on him. Hmm. Yeah, I've come to terms with the fact that I'm. I, I am become the Hawaiian shirt person, or the. I mean, I'm slowly anamorphing into Weird Al as time goes on. I have the hair now. I'm get. I'm getting the shirts. They're subdued now, but they're gonna be super bright loud colors eventually so I don't know I guess that's my retirement plan become weird Al maybe I'll get some of his sense of humor and things will be a lot better who knows <clears throat> oh wow 2200 on that one they're pretty good yeah this feels a lot more arcadey like, it feels like something you would play in an arcade. It only takes, like, an hour or so to go through all the parts. Each part, you only got to do one level of... You have a score, which is apparently important. Hmm. It's interesting. It's very interesting. There are a lot worse people to be than weird... Let me try that again. There are... Worse people to be than Weird Al out there. Weird is a hard word to say. Weird. Yeah, it's a lot of... A lot of mouth and tongue work. Um, is there another bit? I remember there being a third. Let's go Bone Dragon Pit this time, I guess. Since I apparently haven't unlocked another chunk. Ugh. Yeah, it's always the beginning of these levels. 
They, it really chugs along. Yeah, I wish I could get a little better frame rate here. But I don't think that's in the cards for right now. I just gotta wait. Gotta wait till I can can get a, a, a more decent gaming rig. Whoa! Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody asked for you. Who hired you for this birthday party? Not me. I'm not here for bone dragons. Although, I'm glad that they took the route of... Instead of being like, Skeleton Drake, shit. Those got me a lot last time, too. I'm remembering now. Hmm. But yeah, they always try and do something cutesy with it, but this this is a game that has the gumption to just be like, nah, it's a bone dragon. That's all you need to know. Well, you think you need, need more specifics here? Nah. Bone. Dragon. That's it. That's all you need to hear. As far as I'm concerned. How do I do Poochie? I, m I missed the tutorial in the first level. So I don't know. Oh. Oh. Going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eggs and melon. That's a pretty solid secret right there, bro. That's a pretty solid secret, bruh. I don't know why that is. It's just a fun voice to do. There's like a handful of voices. Like, I can do many different standbys. But there's like a few voices that just, they're just real fun to do. Hmm. The thing is... It's an interesting conundrum because in a uh, in the actual voice acting industry, impressions are not exactly frowned upon, but they're like lesser unless you want them to be your niche. Whereas in online voice acting, impressions are king. If you can do impressions, then you're going to get so much attention online. <sighs> Which sucks cuz I don't I don't do many. I do, like, a handful. I do a decent David Lynch. I do a kind of bad Ben Shapiro. Um, I do accents okay. Or dialects, I should say. I do an okay J. Baruchel, who is, like... <laughs> just saying his name, most people are like, who? It's, it's Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, the main guy. Um, that's the, the biggest thing he's been in, and then he's been in some Judd Apatow comedies, but most people know him as Hiccup. Um, that's pretty much it. I feel like some people would be, um, would be pretty entertained by my David Lynch one, but most of the people I know don't, aren't familiar with his work. Whoop. No! No! Ooh. Okay, I saved it at the last second there. Fuck off, Lakitu. Alright, alright. Gotta deal with this situation. Oh, hey, can I... I can get in his cloud. Yes! Yes! Oh god, it's very janky, though. Oh god, it's very jittery. Yeah, I'm out of that. Cannot handle that. The thing I see often, too, with a lot of voice actors, especially, like, amateur voice actors who are just starting out, uh, a lot of character impressions. Like, they'll do impressions of specific characters. Which can be fun, but that is not a marketable skill, unfortunately. Because, like, whoever you're doing an impression of, whatever character, the likelihood is that they have someone who can do it, um, who is already getting paid to do it, and likely probably does it better. Or, 
if not, at least has the experience of how to be in a recording session and has the many, many years of rapport built up with the people who need that character. So, like, the guy they've trusted for decades is definitely going to rank higher on their lists than Internet Rando. You might get it for, like, fan projects, but fan projects are not worth it. Period. End of story. Fan projects, if they get made, are usually pretty bleh. There's, like, a handful that are good. The, the, the problem is always, like, the projects that people do open casting calls for, those are never the good ones. The ones that end up being good are the ones where it's a group... It's a group of people who already know each other. Or, like, know... Like, they get together through specific connections. Like, the only real decent comic dub I've ever seen is the, um... The Hi, I'm Daisy Persona 4 dub. And you can tell the people in that weren't just cast randomly from, like, a casting site. They clearly knew each other. And that's why they have such good chemistry when they record. Whoa, give me that, give me that grape. Mm, give me that grape. Give me, there we go. Ugh. All right, Aria through, third, through this next run. Mm. Yep, did not do as good on page two. I'm still doing pretty all right. I did very well on the first page, so. It all evens out. Can I, can I skip this? Yeah, yeah. Nope, this was in the days before skippable cutscenes, so you just gotta wah, 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 wah through it. That's just how it goes. Hmm. I, I'm pretty tired. I had to be up early for when those plumbers came because, like, they said afternoon, but I've kind of been waking up, like, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So, waking up early for me was waking up at, like, 9.30. Um, God, that's it? I'll do cloud cruising because it was easier overall, but, man, not a lot of options. And then, yes, I will do a different one than the hut one this time, because, wow, this, uh, this situation does not want to do that hut one. Oh, man, it goes against all my instincts to not jump everywhere. See? See, I did it right there. Although it worked out, I guess, but god damn. It is incredibly hard to convince yourself not to jump after years of being taught to do so by platformers such as this. I don't know what the coins... I guess it's just, like, for score? Hmm. Uh, yeah. It's probably important. Whoa. Don't go off the screen. I remember as a kid, I would always let them go off the screen and then be confused why I couldn't go any further. I was not a smart kid, I'll be honest. I was considered uh, an advanced student. That was just because I had decent spatial reasoning. Um, overall, I was a pretty, pretty average to below average student. Did not have very good academic skills. I never figured out how to study. So, that that was definitely not super helpful when I got into the higher, higher positions of learning. Oh, banana. Give me, give me the fruits. Give me the fruits. No. No, the only one I got was the pepper. Whoop. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. We're going low. Going back up. All right. Okay, you get a second chance at all these guys. So. That's good. I don't like these guys' faces. Ugh, there, there's something about them. It's unsettling. Oh, God. There's, like, weird screen tearing going on. It's kind of scary. It's a little scary. Come on. 
I'm giving them bananas. Alright, just under halfway. Uh, I need to run over here, I think, to get that green guy to spawn. Oh, well, well mm, I guess. Mm, helps my score. Yeah, here he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's right. And the ones that drop, they just pop back up right there. I remember that from last time, because I dropped the bananas. The grapes! The grapes! Nope, nope, not the peppers. Whoop. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. Alright. Wow, Andrew was really right about um using Tiger Bomb in this this compression cuff. It really makes it like cooling. Oh shit. Whoa, oh oh god, oh god. I can't eat fast enough. How many times did they come by? Ooh, okay. I feel like I could probably finish off the level here if I get enough. Nope, nope. Get out of here. Give me that melon. Give me the bananas. <laughs> grapes. Grapes. Okay. Hmm. Do they have a specific amount? Or am I just grabbing whatever? And it, like, replenishes. It's looking like it's a specific set amount. Let's see, I need six more fruit. That's one, two, three, four. Only four? Okay. I can make do with four. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Can I go, like, further right here? Oh, I can! That's helpful. So I can have more opportunity here. Alright. Watch them. Watch them. Here they come. Give me the grapes. Give me the grapes. No. Give me. Give me the apple. Grape. Grape. Ah, I got them. Okay. Do they have any more fruit left? There's one apple. Alright. Coming after it. And get that apple. Go through the pot. Get one more thing. Eat the candy man. Can't, can't, can cloud and candy. There it is. There's my guy. All right, go through the pot. Pow. Here's a question. Is it still considered a ground pound if, uh... Whoops. I was gonna say, is it still considered a ground pound if you're on clouds? But, uh, I guess we'll never know. Oh, God, bees! Bees! Oh yeah, this area doesn't mean anything to me. Because there's no fruits. Just need one fruit. Oh, there it is. Yep. Perfect. Now the boss fight. I like how they do that fake out. Like it's going to be the end of the level and then it's it all falls away. These bosses are pushovers though. I have not had much trouble with any of them. Inviso was kind of tricky, but... And it's cute. It's kind of like if Bert the Bashful was a little more, uh... Little more themed towards Yoshi's abilities. Yay! I did it! Um... Yes? Right? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I forgot what the animation for the end of the boss is. That was a little terrifying. I wonder how long speedruns of this take. Because there's a lot of unskippable stuff. That's a little frustrating. But, whatever. Alright, I have to hit... I have to hit a button on that part. Alright, halfway through. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. I'm gonna check a few things while that plays, so... Enjoy, enjoy this cutscene again. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
Okay. Ah, this is a very quiet Friday. Well, not actually quiet, quiet, because those friggin' jerkuses gotta be setting off booming fireworks all the time. But. Yeah, not a lot of, uh. Not a lot of. folks talking on my social medias. For the most part. Right now, this one I remember being really scary because there's a dude in here that just, like, swallows you whole. Whoa. How's these wiggly guys? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. Can I get, get through that? Am I supposed to get these grapes? Yeah, whatever. Uh, give me the eggs. Give me the eggs. Give them to me. No. Wake up, Miss Warp. Your children are burning. You gotta get home right away. There's no one to save them but you. With your flesh and body. Any fruits on the top side? Oh, right, those dangly little fruits, too. Not a fan. Yeah, this, I feel like this entire page was designed to just be low performance, because, like, holy crap. I, uh, oh, okay, you just go under. Um, it's got a water bit with a ton of little things going around. Little goofy, sneaky worm things. And it has the hut, which was just, like, sucked up any bit of frame rate possible. Hmm. Hmm. Whoop. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out! Oh, cool. A melon. What time is it? Oh, it's only about 11. It's good. I'm trying to sleep earlier than it's been, which is like 4 in the morning. Not that there's that much of a problem with it. I just feel like too much of my day is gone if I wake up in the afternoon. You know? I prefer to work, wake up in the morning, but I'm also lazy, so I don't like waking up. Period. So, I'd, uh, I would prefer to sleep in, but also prefer to wake up early, and that's why I'm never happy. Honestly, it's just depression. And hey, that's life, you know? Sometimes, the odds of your brain is stacked against you. It's not all congruous. It's all working against itself, but you gotta work with what you got and hope to get something better through whatever hard work and professional help you can get. Ooh, uh, yep. Crunch. Crunch. Destroy the bugs. Right. Hop over here. And then try to get as many as I can before I go to the next screen because I know it's gonna be more ridiculous there because there's that there's just a friggin' giant fish that can swallow you whole. And it's just one shot, you're done. And it's pretty nonsense considering that you only have so many, so many guys, so many Yoshis. Like, I get the, the concept, like the idea they had behind like, oh, you, each time you lose a Yoshi, it's like you actually lost that Yoshi so that people will be more protective of them. It's like, that's cute, but also, that's sad, and it's frustrating. So overall, I don't like it. I mean, I guess that's what I'm, I'm, what my conclusion is. I don't like it. I, I, I don't like that mechanic. That sucks. Let me have my Yosh man. As many as I want. All of them. 
all. Whoa. Look at a screen glitch. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I'd really like to play Mischief Makers because it's it was a game I played quite a bit as a kid. Um, I remember it being incredibly hard. Like, obscenely hard. You know? But, uh... I, I worked with it as best I could. Um, I could get through, like, the first two worlds. The second world boss was a nightmare. I remember that. I remember that being, like, just incredibly difficult. I wonder if there's a timer drawing for this bit. Um, I guess not. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, no bonus. It's just coins. Fine. Gotta get that, gotta get that score. Gotta get that high score. Highest I can. Whoop. I guess as a kid, I was never very thorough with this stuff, so... I, did, I didn't get as many fruits at the very beginning as I probably could have. Hence why I thought it was a much longer game. Which was actually a pretty quick game, as far as I can tell. I mean, it's, it's only about an hour long, but the idea is that you keep going and going and going and going and going and going. Come on, come on, get up on the thing. There we go. Hmm. Really wish I could hear the music. Oh, yep. That fish. That fish right there. Yeah. See that? See how it jumped up like that? If it get if you are there when it does that, you are just swallowed whole. And it can go really high. So, uh yeah. More reason for me to hate water levels as a kitten. See? Once. That's it. It swallows you whole. I don't think I've done a Miss Warp recently. Nope, way back here. And I got all the f fucking fruits. So I have nothing to even do back here. Oh, okay, I guess that's not that far. Still, it's annoying. I just gotta get three fruits. I just gotta watch it. Motherfucker! If they give me one more time, then I'm done. Well, okay, I can finish it with these guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the game with only two, though. Although last time I only lost one, so I don't know. It's interesting because, similar to a lot of the other one-offs I've been playing, it's very arcadey, but in those, it, everything changes up each time, whereas with this, it's all the same thing over and over. So you kind of just get to optimize your paths and see different bits of the same game, but ultimately the same game. Nope, nope. Do not, do not interact with my Yoshi. Please, give me something good. Whoa. Whoa. There's a white shy guy. Just need one more. One more fruit. Give me fruit! Give me fruit! Nope, that doesn't help me. Nope. Oh god. Oh, he's squirting. He's squirting his waters at me. No. Oh, wait. There is fruit. There we go. Alright, I only got two more Yoshis for the last two pages, which isn't impossible, but it's gonna be difficult. some quick updating of my to-do list while this next cutscene plays. Because I keep a physical to-do list here, and it, it, it helps me, at least, to um, keep up with everything I do throughout the week. And in this case, I can put down 
all of this stuff. I do a, I do a to-do list, which is the things I need to get done, which is still important. And I also do, oh, I forgot to set off the cutscene. Sorry. And I also do a um, to-done list, which is all the things I've done, whether I specifically put them as a to-do or not, so that I can tell that I'm being productive. So sometimes I don't get through a lot of my to-do list, but then I look at how far my to-done list has gone, and I'm like, well, it wasn't a waste. I got stuff done. At least... It's a little chilly in here. Maybe I should put a jacket on. Mm, I should be okay. All right, let's pick another one here. Lots of fish. Lots of jellyfish. Let's go with Shy Guy Limbo. Maybe that one won't be as watery. Of course, a little bit. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. There's a little, a little white Shy Guy there. What was that about? Oh, I didn't, I didn't even see him until it was too late. What the hell was that about? Oh yeah, I remember. This is more like an airship thing, kind of. Oh, this is the limbo level. I love this one. Heck yeah. I mean, they just got the bars. And they just kind of bump you, but this one's, this one's a cute little idea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even need you guys can't get me if I don't go down there. Galump. Or whatever noise Yoshi makes. Did you know? A little fun fact for you. Um, the voice of Yoshi is the composer for Nintendo that K.K. Slider from Animal Crossing is based on. Which is pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, it's definitely, like, pitch shifted and stuff. And I don't think they've re-recorded... Uh, they've probably re-recorded it once or twice. But, as far as I can tell... Shit. Oh, that's not good. Alright, I got one last Yoshi. Let's see if I can save this. Or, actually, I have that Shy Guy. Let's see what that's about. Hopefully I still have that Shy Guy. Yes. There he is. Am I... Oh, I get to bring one back! Oh, that's what the white shy guy is! That's cool! Okay. I don't... Maybe I did run into that as a kid. Well, okay, that helps. That's a very arcade kind of thing. That's not something you'd usually see in, like, a long-form console game or anything. Alright, let's catch back up to where we were at. Watch out, they're gonna... Whoop! Uh-oh, watch out. Gotta get the flower. Flowers are just like unlimited little health health ups. Ah. Yeah, I should be able to I should be able to finish this off within the next half hour or so. That'd be pretty good. That would make me happy. But it depends, because I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... Whoa! Shit! Shit, 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 shit! Ooh. Oh, shit! Nope, that one was my fault. I'm gonna do one of the other castles, but I'm not gonna do the ghost castle, because I'm pretty sure that one is, like... Um, takes a bit, because it's more puzzle solvy. So... I'm not gonna do that, but that's assuming that I even survive this portion. So let's figure out what happens there. Go. Go, Yoshi man. My Yoshi friend. How many Yoshis do you see? How many Yoshis looking at me? This Yoshi, that Yoshi, every Yoshi you see, every Yoshi that there is, every Yoshi in the sea. I, technically, I mean, this is the, the ocean page. There's not a lot of ocean to be had, as far as I can tell. But I don't mind. Whoa, whoa. Ah, there we go. Oh, I missed the, the first one, I guess. Sometimes that happens. Frickin nope. Watch out. Watch out. Ah, there's like a dude. 
like a tree, like a fjord, and like a five. Like a two. Hmm. This one feels like it should be a first page level. I guess it is a lot more busy. Like, there's a lot more shy guys going, going around. Shy guys, burgers, and fries. Not to be confused with the shy guy of SCP fame. A rather spooky individual. Who I uh, would run or two from across the very world. Let me in. Let me in the back. Alright. Hmm. Oh, look at that. You can even see, like, the brand name for the cardboard on the, the background. That's adorable. Whoa. Oh, the little raindrops. I remember these guys. They're weirdly, um, 2D. Compared to a lot of the other stuff. Watch out. Watch out. What's up, TMG Podcast listeners? Look, I gotta get some stuff. I gotta get, I gotta get some egg. Can't do much without it. Careful. Oh, careful. This is my last, my last man. Come on. Oh, oh, another one of those, which means I get another guy back. I wonder what, is, is it just the order you lost them in? That would make sense. Oh god, I think I need to finish the level with him to do that, though. Whoa, all right. Shy guys for the picking. Um, I just realized I don't have a fruit in my periphery anymore. Maybe because I haven't gotten one in a while? Oof, ooh, it's really sluggish. Oh, it's quite sluggish. Oh, no, I think it just glitched out. I think it, it, I think the fruit isn't visible right now? It just told me, uh, I've been getting fruit. Okay. Watch out. Oh, yeah, that, that, that fat ass. Little ball. Did this take me back to the start? It did. Ooh, I don't like that. Seems like a waste of my time. Not fan of wasting my time. No, sorry. Wait, if I no, I still have egg. I'm just checking, cause he's like in my he's hanging out with my egg. So I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna like throw him on accident. That'd be tragic. Um, how do I it's like a, a yep. Uh, well, maybe a yeah, they're supposed to be they're called Miss Warp because you're supposed to be able to warp between them, I think. Or not? I don't know. Alright, let's see if I can find more fruits. I only need four- well, there's no fruit in this area. Or at least there doesn't look like there's fruit. Am I missing, like, a secret? If I get in, can I do something with that bubble? Um... Huh. I'm a little stumped. Wait. Wait, bubble? Yeah? Oh no, I see what's happening. So those are the bubbles that usually have fruit in them, but for some reason the fruit is not loading in this part. Okay, so I gotta find... Oh no, oh no, the, the egg dispenser isn't loading either. Oh no, <laughs> that's a bad glitch. 
that makes this game nigh unplayable. Because the main goal is invisible. It's fine, I only need one more. So we just need to find one more bubble. Oh no. Well, I needed to find one more bubble. That's the end for me! Ugh. Game over. Dang. Well, that sucks. Oh well, bound to happen from time to time. Games must end at a certain time, and so must my stream. So thank you very much for watching. If you're watching now, watch before, or we'll watch in the future on the archive channel on YouTube, which you can find in the browser below, along with the schedule, my Twitter, my personal YouTube. Uh, my Twitter is where you can see where I'll tweet stuff out. The schedule is what I'm gonna be doing in the future here. Subject to change, you know, all that. Uh, please follow if you have not. I would really appreciate it. If you're watching on the YouTube, just go to my Twitch. I mean, honestly, subscribe on the YouTube as well, but I am really looking to get those 50 Twitch followers. That would be a gr big, big deal for me. But, yeah, um, that should about do it. So, thank you. Thank you all. Have a great night, a great weekend, and hopefully a peaceful Independence Day, if you're American. Good night. Mm, nope, my shortcuts aren't working. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh. Good night.